Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with two of my newest 380 ACPs. Here we have the Walther PD380, new release from Walther, and here we have the Gearson MC14 BDA. Both similar in size, there are some differences though, so we're going to get after it. Let's start with the Walther PD Performance Duty. It has that grip right there that is cross-directional textured, nice grip. It does come with two nine round single stack mags, 3.7 inch barrel. It has the super terrain slide serrations that we know from the PDP. It's a double action, single action handgun. Trigger brakes right around five and a half to six pounds, short reset. Three dot sights, has an ambidextrous thumb safety, a Mag Z release on the trigger guard, so that is ambidextrous. You're looking at about $400 for the PD 380. It's a newer release from Walther. Overall, nice handgun. Let's take a few shots. Right around 400 bucks, two nine round mags. I know some people said they wanted higher capacity, but they do offer two, here we go. All right, I'm about 12 yards away. The one thing this does not have is a slide stop. So in order to drop the slide, you have to remove the magazine and manually drop the slide. But it's a pretty decent handgun, 400 bucks, 3.7 inch barrel, easy, very easy, disassemble. But now we have the Gearson MC14 BDA. This is a Browning BDA copy. It has one 13 round magazine. All right, it is a double stack. It has black Cerakote, aluminum frame and slide. Once again, an ambidextrous thumb safety, three dot metal sights. It has polymer grips there with the Gearson logo and the single action trigger pull is a little bit lighter. You're looking at right around four pounds. And the handgun is a little bit less expensive. You're looking at right around 350 bucks for the Gearson. Nice overall handgun. I've been happy with it since I've gotten it. I think they priced it well. People are concerned because it has one magazine and I'm not sure if the Browning BDA and 380 will work with this. I have to believe that it will. Super easy disassemble. Nice shooting handgun. A little softer trigger. Let's go ahead and take a few shots with the Gearson BDA. MC14 BDA. All right. I really like what Gearson has done with this and what they continue to do. What do I like about the Walther? Well, I like the grip. That cross-directional texturing on the grip is super nice. And those slide serrations, super terrain slide serrations, super nice. The mid-sized 380s are coming back in a big way and a lot of people are going for it. It also has a lighter recoil spring. Easy to rack, good for people with either weaker or injured hands. The PD380, a little bit more expensive, but it is a Walther and people like that. But with the Gearson, you have a fine handgun. Uh, I actually shoot it a little bit better. So if I had to choose one, and I do like the aluminum frame, I'm going with the Gearson MC14 BDA. I think they did a great job. I like the 13 round mags, the recoil spring. Yeah, you know, 380, it's a bit light, but not as light as the Walther, but the single action trigger is a little bit lighter, makes it easier to stay on target. Walther, they came out with a decent handgun. They now have, I believe, three 380 handguns, three or four, I think it's three now. And then here we have the gear sound. What I really want to know is which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and 
You guys be safe.